Welcome to the Sherlock Holmes Museum in London, England. Sherlock Holmes has inspired the creation of thousands of essays, poems, books, plays, films, and memorabilia, and has been portrayed by more actors than any other person. He is frequently quoted in magazines and newspapers, on TV and radio, and even on the internet. Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson lived in a Victorian lodging house at 221 B Baker Street between 1881 and 1904, according to the stories written by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. The house was built in 1815 and is listed by the government to protect its architectural and cultural heritage. It is open as a museum dedicated to the life and times of Sherlock Holmes, and the interior has been faithfully maintained for posterity exactly as described in the published stories. The famous study overlooking Baker Street that has been portrayed in so many films over the years is located on the first floor above a flight of 17 steps. Visitors can sit in Mr. Holmes' armchair by the fireside to pose for photos and enter his bedroom adjoining the study. His possessions are in their usual places, his deerstalker hat, magnifying glass, calabash pipe, violin, chemistry equipment, notebook, Persian slipper, and disguises. Dr. Watson's bedroom on the second floor overlooks a small yard at the rear of the house. The room contains personal belongings and private papers of the great detective and a variety of exhibits from his published cases. The diary of Dr. Watson contains handwritten notes and extracts from the famous adventure, The Hound of the Baskervilles. The third floor exhibit rooms contain a new and stunning arrangement of wax models of scenes from the stories. Sherlock Holmes and Professor Moriarty are actually standing in the same room. The lumber room in the attic, where the lodgers used to store their trunks and luggage, can still be seen today. You also find a bust of Sherlock Holmes, as well as several of the items from his famous cases. you'll find a panorama of pictures and descriptions of items that were typically found in a Sherlock Holmes mystery. models depict such stories as The Adventure of the Gloria Scott, where Sherlock Holmes solves a mystery from a man's past. The Adventure of the Speckled Band, where Sherlock Holmes helps a governess investigate noises in the night. The Case of the Man with the Twisted Lip, where Sherlock Holmes helps a woman find her missing husband. The Musgrave Ritual, where Holmes and Reginald Musgrave discover Bronton the Butler. The Final Problem with Professor James Moriarty, the Napoleon of Crime.
adventure of Charles Augustus Milverton, where Sherlock Holmes helps stop a blackmailer from ruining a woman's life. The case of the Red-Headed League, where an innocent man is unwittingly deceived into helping a robbery. The disappearance of Lady Frances Carfax, where Holmes and Watson save a woman from being buried alive. and A Scandal in Bohemia, where Sherlock Holmes helps a king whose reputation is threatened by a photograph. A ring comes out the bell, a step is heard upon the stair, the drooping eyelids lift and the nostrils quiver with the thrill of the chase. Come Watson, come, the game is afoot. Visitors often ask whether Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson really lived in the house, but unfortunately no official records of the lodgers who lived here in Victorian times exist. Local authority records do state that the house was registered as a lodging house between 1860 and 1934, and that the maids who worked in it were related to a Mr. Holmes. A Dr. Watson also lived next door in the 1890s as an artificial teeth manufacturer. With the popularity of the Sherlock Holmes stories, it makes you wonder, what are the attributes which combine to make a person a world-famous legend?